This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Today we're going to go over dog pools, Citadel Connect. And what I did was I filed a motion in federal court requesting that the court ban the trading of dog pools until an accurate share count is done of AMC and GME shares. Now, the way that works is once I filed a motion with the court, the defendants, Citadel Connect, Ken Griffin, the SEC, they have an opportunity to answer my motion, which means they're going to file papers telling the courts not to do it, and they're going to give the reasons why, either factually or legally, and then I will have an opportunity to, to reply to, to their answer. And when I reply, I'm going to further you know, argue my position in the papers of why the courts should ban dog food trading until AMC, the accurate share count of AMC and GME shares. Now, what happens is, when the judge has all this paperwork, the judge can utilize the paperwork and then make a decision, either yes, granting my motion and banning dog food trading, or the judge can deny my motion. But also, what the judge can do is the judge can order all the defendants and myself into the court and have us argue the ban of the dog pool on the record, what they would call oral arguments. So at this point, we're waiting on the defendants to file a motion or file an answer to my motion, and then we'll see what the judge decides. But of course, you know, I'll keep y'all all updated. Okay, first of all, let me give you the definition of dog pool according to Investopedia and the purpose of dog pools initially until it became what it is today. Okay, initially, dog pools are private exchanges for trading securities that are not accessible by the investing public. Dog pools were created in order to facilitate block trading by institutional investors who did not wish to impact the markets with their large orders and obtain adverse prices for their trades. According to the most recent SEC data, there were 59 registered alternative trading systems, aka dog pools, with the SEC as of May of 2021. Now, when they say unregistered dog, registered dog pools, they say there's 59, but there's also these unregistered dog pools, such as Citadel, Citadel Connect, which is run by Citadel Securities, and these are aka alternative trading platforms that are not registered with the SEC, that reports to no one, and nobody has no idea what's going on inside these exchanges. And I believe what's going on inside these exchanges is what they're doing to manipulate the price of AMC stock, GME stock, or any stock that they really want. As of Friday, October 1st, 63% of AMC shares were traded in a dog pool. No other share has that level of dog pool activity except for AMC. And the only reason that would be is for them to manipulate the price. Being that they can move whatever they want in the dog pool and the light pools at their discretion, they can more or less control whether a stock goes up or a stock goes down. What I believe, and this is just my opinion, they're doing with AMC shares is they're taking a majority of sell orders and they push them into the lit exchange to push the price down. And all the buy orders, a majority of the retail investors' buy orders are being kept in the dog pool. I mean, it's just a simple thing of supply and demand. If you have any equity, any product, and they just sell, 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 obviously the price is going to go down. So if, if, if the only information they're giving to the New York Stock Exchange is that everybody's selling AMC shares, of course the price is going to go down. And then in reverse, and this is what I believe they, they were doing with, with Robinhood, and this is just my opinion also, they take the buy orders for Robinhood and put them in a light exchange like, like New York Stock Exchange, and they keep the sell orders in the dark pools in order to push the price of Robinhood up. But that, that's just my opinion. The bottom line is, dog pools were meant to stabilize the market. They were not meant for the bad actors, the big hedge funds, the, 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 the market makers to utilize, to manipulate the price of a stock in order to take advantage of retail investors. Okay, and that's what they're doing with the dog pools. And if we're successful 
with, with the motion that I filed in federal court, if the judge bans the trading of retail shares of AMC and GME into the dog food, it could take 60 days, it could take 90 days. Could you imagine what would happen to the price of AMC and GME shares? We would actually see the actual real price of AMC and GME shares if the dog pool trading is suspended until we get an actual cheer count. Please, if you like the video, please subscribe, leave a lot of comments, ask a lot of questions, and I'll try to answer them as much as possible. Thank you very much and have a great day.